Hey everyone, so I am wicked excited. We just got back from a trip to Florida, um, Lauderdale by the sea specifically. It's kind of right in between Fort Lauderdale and like Miami, Hollywood area. Um, anyway, so the purpose of my trip was family vacation, but also to go diving. That is something I've always loved. And um, we're not scuba diving, we're just snorkeling. And we were looking at different places in Florida, and Lauderdale by the Sea has a place where you can swim straight from the beach all the way to the reef without a boat, without any extra things that you need. So it makes it really cheap, really easy. And um, we got a place like two minutes walk from the beach. Um, I totally have a video in the description down below for that um, of where we stayed. So we could literally just walk to the beach I didn't even wear shoes going to the beach, so we could just bring our um, snorkel stuff and hop right in. Um, but what I found was online, there is not a great understanding video of where to swim to, to actually go to these reefs. Um, I went a few years back and the water was really, really choppy from a hurricane that was just leaving, so we couldn't really see a ton and it was just hard to do. So this time I was determined. We were gonna find this reef, we were gonna enjoy it, and we're gonna have a, a great time. Um, so I've decided to make this video to show all of you guys if you wanna to go to that area, just exactly where to go and what you're gonna see. So um, on top of that, I'm excited to say that I got tons of sunrise video. So I put out a video of 15 minutes of just beautiful sunrises and soothing, relaxing music for that. And also five minutes of underwater where we're taking pictures and videos of the reef and the fish there. Um, that was a lot of fun. The, the music I did for that is nice and soothing, but also it's very, feels like you're floating. Kind of makes me want to go back there again for sure. Um, so check those out. Those will be at the end of the video where you can link to that. And um, let me know what you think. But for all those who are actually interested in snorkeling but have never done it, this is the exact basics of it. It's really not expensive. You need a snorkel and a mask. If you're not doing this professionally, this could be as cheap as like 15 or 20 bucks. It's nice to have flippers. Just get them in your size. I always wear socks with my flippers because if you're out there for like an hour or so, even this nice rubber can end up putting a callus on your foot. So just be a dweeb, wear some socks with it. And in Florida, if you're out past 100 feet of the beach, you need a dive flag. Now this one, we I had one before, ended up kind of breaking while we were there. So I ended up buying one while we were there. And that in itself was like 30 bucks. So total, you can go snorkeling for like 50 to $70 and you could do it the whole week. That's like the price of one excursion if you actually go somewhere and get a tour of doing it. And then I wanted to take video, so I ended up getting one of these, which you've seen in my other videos before. It's the Ekken. It's pretty much a GoPro knockoff, but it took really nice long pictures, really nice video, and it was only like 50 bucks. So a nice waterproof case, so you can take this up to further than I could dive down on my own, like 90 feet or something. So I'm not going to be diving down that deep, I dive maybe 20 feet at most. Anyway, um, let's take a look at this beach. So um, like I said, you need your dive buoy so that boats know you're there and are not going to run into you. And you need them if you're going past these buoys. So these buoys are the, the difference between what you're allowed to swim out and what boats are allowed to come in. Um, and it's also the marker for where we're gonna find the reef. Now I looked online and even the, the Lauderdale by the Sea website um, shows you some kind of vague areas of where you're looking and what you're gonna see. Um, I found that there's a shipwreck snorkel trail between the buoy number one and two next to this pier. Now you have to stay 300 feet from the pier because the people are fishing on it and you don't want to get hooked. <laughs> um, 
and that's the law of the area. You're not allowed to go closer than that while you're swimming or something. So in between the two buoys um, is the shipwreck trail. Now we kind of just swam through there and um, I'll show you what we could see when we were in that area. It looked like this. It's sandy bottom right there. It's pretty deep, about 12 feet to 15 feet deep. And we just, I couldn't see very much. It wasn't interesting to me to be swimming around looking for this cannons and um, different stuff from the shipwreck that was planted there for a snorkel trail. And it's not going to be as much fish as the reef and stuff. So we just kind of swam through there. I never saw the um, shipwreck stuff because of that reason. Um, but in our time we stayed there, we went four different days. The first day was pretty choppy and you could barely see anything. We ended up going swimming out to the first reef and I saw online that there's two different reefs. And even on Google Earth, if you end up looking at the satellite view, you can see the reefs right here. So right here is the pier. Now we have the reef number one, a sandy part in between, and reef number two. Now from what I saw online, reef number two had more stuff. So we went to the first one, we still couldn't see a ton. Then we swam out to the second reef. And that first day we saw some really cool fish there. And um, it was enough that you could just swim on the surface and see things or dive down and get a little bit better view because some sediment and stuff sometimes is on the surface. So that was great. We didn't go the next day because we went to Miami Sea Aquarium, which was a lot of fun. Saw some killer whales and um, dolphins and all kinds of stuff there. And then the day after that, we went and we got hit by jellies. This was not a good experience. Um, we ended up going out and we were just stinging us and all over. Um, now it wasn't like deadly or anything, um, but it was not comfortable at all. Now this would be my main reason to wear a wetsuit um, because they're not going to affect you if you have a wetsuit. Um, but we didn't have that for the four of us. So we just turned back, you can get white vinegar, put that on it, it kind of negates the feeling. Um, but you still have a couple of like rashes from it. Not a huge deal, just not fun at all. And a little bit of time we had to convince my daughter to go back in the next day after the jellies were gone. Um, jellies kind of just go in and out on the tide and stuff. So if they're there, they're there. If they're not, it's not going to be a big deal. Um, now, the water was still kind of cloudy, so we couldn't even see them. I couldn't see a thing, um, which was part of the issue of it. So the day after that, my son and I went by ourselves. We had a great time. The water was nice and clear, nice and smooth. We saw all kinds of awesome things. And on the way back, another diver was like, hey, how was it out there? And we said where we went, which was in this area. So almost to the second buoy out to the first and the second reef and she was telling us that if we want to see more of the bigger corals and more parts of the reef that don't have sand in between we should go closer to the pier closer to that first buoy in this area and in this area is where we saw a lot of the corals and fish that look like this so, that was our experience. Like I said, we had a great time. Totally check out my um, relaxing music of the underwater and also of uh, the sunrises if you're interested. And if you're interested in snorkeling this area, just stick with these areas. For that first 100 meters or so, you can't see a ton because there's not much down there. If there's any waves at all, it's going to stir up the sand, and that first hundred meters of sandy um, area just gets really cloudy. So you have to go past that. Once you get to the reef past that, it is much nicer. So um, I encourage anyone who wants to try this out to find a buddy and go do this, because it is a extremely fun experience. So. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. I mostly do relaxing piano music, but I'm also going to start adding little things about what we're recording, um, like this vlog. So, I am putting all of our stuff away. 
And I just noticed that my dive flag totally has seagull poop all over it. I don't know why I didn't notice this before. This totally was in my bag with all my stuff coming home. And I guess um, I gotta get that washed. But yeah. <laughs>